What up, Lick Daddies? Welcome back to the stream. The boys back with another with the first episode of Alan Wake Remastered. As always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. If I get notified of your subscription, I'll shout you out the next video. And please ring that bell. I'll let you know what I'm dropping next. Alright, guys, so the winner of the poll was Alan Wake Remastered. I've never played the original Alan Wake, because I never had an Xbox 360. But um I really like control. And this is kind of like a prequel, set in the same universe kind of thing. So, I'm like, fuck it, let's get it. Alright guys, let's get started. We're gonna go on easy, I don't wanna get stuck on nothing. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. Sure, dude. antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Nice. Alan, Alan Xander Wake. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream Humble. settled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Fish. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Full force, brother. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <laughs> Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one. I was in shock nightmare. The crash. I could hardly stand my feet. I wonder how long these episodes are. Look up to the light. Reverse your controls for looking up and down. Nah, it's good. You can change camera settings, yeah, I kinda figured. That's a weird that's a weird. I'm guessing we're going to light or hmm. Well, there's something over here. Going back to the lighthouse. The lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. But there's something over here. Was this? It collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. A thermos. Nice. 100 collectibles. Yeah, we're not. We're probably not going to be doing that. Trash can looks good. Very realistic. The fucking camera's weird. It's a hitchhiker. Oh, shit. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. You think you can just make up stuff. That's what writers do. Hey, that ain't no control jump. I'll tell you that. How? It's a good dream. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own? This guy should do heavy metal vocals. Gotta go! Gotta go fast!
Oh shit! Guessing we go where the light is, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Brother, help me! Brother! Hold up. Brother! Couldn't see the map. You good, homie? Stop! No! Damn it, die! No! 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 <laughs> oh. Some. This is a horror game. I was trapped. There was no way out. Okay. Really do be no way out. Oh, this is like some Oh shit. I don't know how How the hell do I get out? I'm trying, brother. Get into the safe haven. Ah, no. You must go into the light. Is this God? Like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Follow my life. Wait, 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 wait. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take a light. Pick up a light. All right. Pick up the flashlight. Hey, dude, fuck you. Don't. Toward him and burn the darkness away. Ooh. It's got adaptive triggers. Hey! No longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Pick up a fucking gun, bro. Kill this man. Pick up the revolver. Dude, fuck you. Why are you talking to me like that? Now you Good. What now? You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is okay. all. I will give you back your dream now. Cool, God. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Why am I pressing that button?
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I thought the hitchhiker was dead. Oh shit. Can you believe they wanted us to put film gr the the they're supposed to have film grain on this shit, dude? I fucking hate film grain. How do we put in battery? I can keep this up. Uh -oh. Let it go. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Run, stupid! Why are you running so slow? How do you turn off the fucking... The flashlight? I'm like running out of battery. Hey, look at another thermos. Did I pick it up? Alan, Alan, you're kind of ugly. Thick. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Where are we at? Bright Falls. That's so nice. This was like a graphical marvel when it came out, right? Can we like save manually? No. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. The fuck you say? Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? <laughs> Why does it sound so quiet? I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance to get out? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this one. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. It honestly does look pretty good. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. 
So you made a friend. That's cute. She doesn't right. look that good. Car looks nice. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure why you're that okay. Why is that double? Why is he doubling? Too, that double is that real time ray tracing? Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Well look, dears. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Nice, nice, nice. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I got in the driver's side. Why is she driving? Up you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. He's a famous writer, man. You know he's going to try and fuck. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I only got one I book. I got the cut from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for Try the vacation. Coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black Do me a favor, sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. This guy's a fucking I pirate. Myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. You should probably stand Bad up, you fucking old fuck. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Hope it's not fucking it copyrighted. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Ooh, give it a ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully the song's not copyrighted. I've died and gone to hell. Nice. The fuck? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. It was really fucking dark. Hello? Yeah, dude, I can understand that. So many fans. Mr. Stucky? Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Creepy. Oh, okay, so she looks fucking normal now. Aldrin Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> You're fucking weird, dude. Be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been cool. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? 
I'm 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 always looking for new things, dude. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. Dr. Hartman, are we playing Death, playing Death Stranding again? Playing Death Stranding again. Hey, you wanna fucking talk to me? All right, I'm leaving. Bye, Mr. Blake. Bye, bitch. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Uh, what? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> she thought that was hilarious. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. That's a nice house. House on the lake. Diver's Isle. It's gorgeous, Alan. It sounds so ominous. Right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Being afraid of the fucking dark? Bird leg cabin. 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 Nice. The music's so calming. It's dark in there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Cool. Hey, another thermos. Why so many fucking thermoses, dude? Why is, why is this homeboy collecting all these thermoses? cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier sure sure Alan Xander wake I don't know where to fucking go for a moment the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned You fucking scaredy cat. Just an old lady dressed like a funeral. Power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. So I guess not in here. Cause there ain't nothing else. Okay, let's go outside. Ah. Uh. There you go. <coughs> Radio. Guys talking about me.
Oh, this. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Nice, dude. This does look pretty good for like a, a little remastered PS3 game or Xbox 360 game. Cool, dude. Fuck you. You could have turned it on yourself. Oh, shit. Physics are pretty fucking good in this game. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. What the fuck? That looks old as fuck, dude. Rusty like my pussy. Open that doll. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. They love each other. Return to Elise. Ominous. Examine what? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Interesting. You're gonna fuck your wife, Al Alan? You're gonna fuck your wife? Alice? Honey? We what? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. She's gonna be in lingerie. Ooh, we're gonna fuck my wife. Whoa, wow. sexy. Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Okay. Take off that tweed jacket, brother. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Damn. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. You good? You asshole? She's trying to help you, dude. Ooh. Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Alice? Alice! No! Alice! Oh, wait. The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. I'm coming. It's Was the lady I'm in coming. the background? Crows. What the hell? That's a lot. Should have taken off that tweed jacket, bro. Keep going, Alice. Wake up. Alice? Uh, 
waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Hey man, seems like you, uh... Seems like you're projecting. Where the fuck do we go? Did you fall off a bridge, bro? The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. If you could see it, dude, it's probably not that long. Just jump down. If this was like an Assassin's Creed game or something, we'd just, you know, run down it. Damn. Car, bro. Alan Xander Wake. Guess I'm going the wrong way. Hello? Ooh. Hey! Hello? Someone there? Hey, what up? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. You found the manuscript pages. You can access them with the sword. Nice. Nice. You tired, bro? Uh oh. Please, I've been in an accident. Looks like the hitchhiker. Okay, yeah. Lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Could. You probably will. Can we walk up this? We can! Hey! Anybody there? Please. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need two premium cabins for rent in Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Please to beat you. non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. The fuck? Fair and square. You good, homie? Hey, another thermos. Okay, that's not right. That's not the right. It's not the right way. Can we get in this car? You see that? <laughs> Whoa! Seems like he's playing control and Release the deposit. These cutscene transitions. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second.
it's definitely a shining reference. Knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in the shining. No, okay, he's drawn the nose. Use switch weapons. It's the latest thing. Incontestably proven. Health benefits like you. One stone. You can see the sights and keep those collapsed. There are phones in there? Great Falls Sheriff's Station. Oh, may I? Hello? Hello? Okay. Gotta go! Ow! Did Stucky kill himself? Oh. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Oh, there's the door that's open. They wanted us to look at the fucking building. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Hey, more batteries. Okay. Now we're fighting enemies. I feel like these transitions are on purpose. What the hell was that? Well, I have no when fucking. I saw the river below. Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay, well, we already fucking crossed it, Alan Wake. Alan Xander Wake. Hey, another thermos. Alan must really like thermoses. Do we push this in the water? Or do we walk on these rocks? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Ooh, why you think he's stalking you, buddy? Lithium battery.
Where'd you fucking come from? That's kind of fucked up that you did that, bro. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh -uh. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Kind of fucking annoying, Alan Wake. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. Hey, another thermos. And I said I wasn't going to do any collecting. Hmm. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Another generator. Nice. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Who are you talking to, Alan Wake? Does he have a stamina bar like a because he's 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 definitely running a little bit slower. Hey, that looks right. I keep on forgetting I could dodge. Fuck. Fuck! Cool. Nice. Whoa. Let's put this bad boy to use. Um Fucking logs, dude. Good beat. What did I just do? Ah, I didn't even see this fucking ladder. That. Felt like I did something wrong, but I didn't. Felt like I did something wrong, but I did, and well, 
I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I know most of you are probably in bed by now. Hmm. Kind of wish we could just hear it. Well, let me guess. The gas station a fucking thermos. Now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. What? I'm stupid! I suck! I don't even know where my health is, dude. I feel like two more hits and I'm dead. Does he char is he charging health over time? Yeah, my health is coming back over time. And then you get more health when you go under a fucking lap. Uh, a lap. A lap. A lap. A fucking... What is this? A night light. No. A uh, street lamp. Street lamp. Stupid. I think when we... Oh my god. Oh. It seems like we got a lot left to do. Hey! Another shotgun. Use TV. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan. Princes among men, but the princes of such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs, tonight's episode: a quantum suicide. <coughs> All right, we've been playing long enough. This seems like a good place to call it quits. I can't look at the camera, unfortunately. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If I get notified of your subscription, I'll shout you out in the next video. And please ring that bell. I'll let you know when I'm dropping next. Links in the description. Link to take to my Facebook and Instagram. Then most stream that PayPal if you want to donate to the channel. You guys have a fantastic day.